going on everybody black limited exit with another video for you and in this one we're going to be talking about the five things that i love about my jeep grand cherokee let's take a look All right, so number one for me is gonna be the exterior. Uh, personally, for me, the WK2 platform, which well, my Jeep and many of our Jeeps are, it's the best looking platform Jeep that they've come out with thus far. Um, I'm sure we've all seen the new Grand Cherokee L's that just came out a couple weeks ago or debuted a couple weeks ago. Uh, not a fan, uh, not a fan. Uh, I'm gonna reserve my judgment though until they either put out a performance model. Uh, maybe it looks a little bit more aggressive. Maybe an SRT, Trackhawk, possibly. Uh, maybe then it'll look a bit, it'll grow on me. But for now, it's a no go. Uh, the interior looks amazing though. But aside from that, the WK2 platform, which is what most of it, not all of us, um, have, is the best looking from the hood. The, the, the side, front, back, every angle, it looks good when you're taking pictures, when you're driving. It's a hair turner for sure. Um, for me, it's something that really swayed my decision in purchasing my the, the truck was the, the exterior and how it looked, especially the hood. I love the fact that it came with the SRT hood. Um, so for me, the interior is the number one thing that I love about this truck. All right, so coming in number two for me is going to be the interior. I personally love the interiors of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. Um, when you sit down in it, especially the Limited X, you're met with some very nice soft leather seats with nice bolstering to them. They are very soft and comfortable. Um, I've taken a couple road trips myself. They can get tired. I felt right at home like I was on a little couch. So that's a good thing. They can also be optioned out to have either heated or cooling features in the summer and wintertime respectively. So that's very nice. Uh, in the center console, you have a nice leather armrest. Uh, moving forward, you got the nice little turn down selection for the drive modes, as well as the nice shifter. Um, it comes with the 8.4 inch Uconnect, the tried and true Uconnect that we all love. The system has been great since its debut. Um, and I love it, especially with the car, Apple CarPlay and even Android Auto. Um, they both work very nice. Uh, the system is very simple, but very easy to use and very easy to learn. It's very user friendly. So that's a great thing. Um, we have a nice instrument cluster. It's not too cluttered. Um, it's very customizable to get it the way you want it. Um, it's very intuitive and it's simple. So it's nice. It's easy to use. Um, and I like that as well. The dashboard has a nice little soft to touch, uh, soft to the touch material. Um, it's very nice. Um, and the door paneling, as well as even the dash, has like a, I wouldn't call it a legit wood grain, but it does have some type of wood grain material to it, and it looks very nice on the inside. Uh, moving to the back seat, they're very spacious. You have a lot of leg room. I myself am about 5'10", um, so I have a lot of leg room. I have a lot of head room. Um, I'm sure someone taller can get in and have enough space as well, but you know, it's, it, 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 it varies. Um, but moving back to the trunk is very spacious as well. Um, nice little floor liner on it, so that's nice. Overall, in my opinion, the interior is very nice in the Jeep Grand Cherokee, especially when you move up in the higher trim levels where you can get that suede and Alcantara, especially in like the SRT and the Trackhawk models. Those are even better. So if you can get those, good deal. All right, coming in number three for me is going to be the performance. Now, I get it before you say anything. Craig is just a V6. Personally, I can only speak for myself. If you agree with me, that's fine. If you don't agree with me, that's fine as well. But I love the 3.6 liter V6. I also love the 5.7 Hemi. I love the 6.4 Hemi. And I love the supercharged 6.2 Hemi. Um, I love every engine that they offer across the board. With that being said, whether you like it or not, there is a market out there for aftermarket parts for the V6. It is what it is. Um, there's enough out there that anybody with a V6 can make it their own and have a ton of fun doing it. Uh, personally, I have a couple things that I'm gonna be doing myself. So when I get those in, that's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna show you guys that process as well. Um, you can do a ton of things to the V6. You can do some exhaust work. You can do um, some tuning. You can do suspension. You can cold air in intakes. You can supercharge it. You can do anything you want to the V6 to give it a little bit more power and a little bit more juice to have that much more fun out there on the road. 
Uh, me personally, I'm not making a race car. I'm just making a super fun daily driver. I got plans in the future for a race car with a different car actually. So when I get to that bridge, then I'll cross it. Uh, but the V6, the 3.6 liter V6 puts out a healthy 295 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque, which is practically more than enough to have fun as a daily driver. Um, the vehicle has enough, especially in the Jeep Grand Cherokees, it's very torquey, especially down low. It, it has enough get up and go to where you can move that thing. Like, and it's a heavy truck. We all know these Jeep Grand Cherokees are heavy trucks, but they move. Trust me, I know. But um, the 3.6 liter V6 is still a fun engine. Uh, it's still a lot of fun to drive, especially, like I said, daily driving. Um, I have a pedal commander in mine, as you all know. so. It's fun getting off the line when I throw it in Sport Plus. Um, getting off the line, I'm like, you know, you know, they think I'm in a V8, but they're like, oh, it's just a V6. But you know, but that is, it, it's, it's still fun to do, um, and that's what we're all here to do, in, to do anyway. So I really like that about the V6. All right, so number four for me is gonna be the mods, and I'm not talking performance mods. I'm talking about mods as in exterior mods, such as buying the aftermarket hood, uh, bumper, rear, front. Uh, fenders, flares, whatever, spoilers, wheels and tires, all type of things. You know, in the interior, you can get custom floor mats, cut seat covers, custom steering wheel, audio system, whatever it is, you name it, you can do it. Um, I love the fact that there are tons of companies out there that make different things for the Jeep Grand Cherokee that you can do to make it yours. You can personalize it and make it your own. Like I said, these trucks are head turners as, as they are, but if you go ahead and mod it and do something dope that stands out, it's going to make it that much better. And I love seeing all the different Jeeps out there and how everybody has this stuff set up. It's really awesome. All right. And number five for me is going to be the Jeep community in general. Uh, through my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook, and now my YouTube, I've been able to meet a ton of great people, awesome people that I wouldn't have been able to meet outside of having this community. Uh, the love and support that I've gotten from you guys have been nothing short of appreciated. I, I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart, truly. I don't get paid to do this. I do this because I love it. I love my Jeep. I love being able to show my experiences with them. And I love being able to see you guys' experiences with your Jeeps as well and what you've all done to it. It's been amazing. Um, like I said, outside of this Jeep community, I would have never been able to build the relationships that I have and meet the people that I have and do the things that I am because this has created a, a, almost a family-like atmosphere. And that's something I really appreciate about this platform. So I want to thank you guys as I do from the bottom, as I always do from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys are awesome and I thank you guys. Um, but with that being said, if this is your first time checking out my videos, I want to go ahead and say thank you and welcome to the channel. If you like this video or if you like any video I've made in the past, please go ahead and subscribe for me and like and leave a comment down below. Actually, everybody leave a comment down below what you've done or what you love about your Jeep the most. And I will try to respond back to every last one of you all. And I will catch you on the next video. Thank you.